And Drew's ripping the home repair. We're down here in the Dutchman Creek neighborhood, Southport, North Carolina. Had a customer call me up, said he had some issues with leaking dormers. So we went up there to see what was going on, and uh, I'll show you in a second what we found. We're going to tear off some siding and redo it so that uh, it doesn't leak anymore properly. All right, we got the siding pulled off this thing, and you can see exactly what's been going on behind this thing. This had a gap right here that was never sealed across there, so water's been pouring down there. And then when it gets to the top of the piece of siding, it just rides back and forth the siding. Goes down to the next one, rides across the siding. And here at the roof line, the siding was right on the roof, literally laying on the roof. You can see the paint lines where it was sitting on the roof. You always want to leave your siding, like I've stressed so many times before, off the roof about a half an inch so that the water doesn't wick up the ends of it. And the next thing is, when you do put your siding down there anyways, whether it's off the roof a half an inch or not, you want to make sure that it's painted. So you want to paint that bottom so the, the water's not going to wick anyways. So, there we go. Okay, just so you know, as a homeowner, if you have a man putting up siding on your house, you want to make sure or ask him, do you put your siding against the roof? You notice that? There's, not, there's, there's no space whatsoever against the roof. So everything's tight. And if you notice this, none of the ends are painted. Okay? None of the ends are painted. So... Excuse my moving the camera around so much. When this thing's sitting against the roof right there, it's sucking up water. Don't let your siding guy do that to you. Let me show you one other mistake the contractors make when they're putting on siding or anything else. This is the flashing run, which runs up fairly high. Got a good, it runs all the way up to here, from there to there. You don't want to put nails through your flashing an inch off the roof. See here? nail holes an inch off the roof. There's literally nails, nail hole, nail hole, nail hole. Don't let them do it. Tell them keep your nails out of your flashing or at least keep them up a couple inches. And if they run it tight down to the roof here, the water's going to wick and it's going to follow that nail hole right into your house and then you will end up with a leak. All right, like I say, the main thing is you want to make these tight and I look at that. See that cock bead right there? I put that before the siding goes in. And then I cock it after the fact also. And then the next most important thing, keep your siding off the roof line. No wicking. There you go. It's a done deal right there. Yep, done deal. Cock that little piece right there. Notice the cock squeezes right out from behind the siding. So it doesn't take a lot of caulking this outside edge when you got it squeezing out like that. Beautiful, looking good. I'm moving to the other side. One thing I can say about our job is I guarantee it won't have leaking going on again. Guaranteed. We are changing all of these sidings on all of these things so that we don't have that situation going on ever again. This man should not have to worry about his siding on his house again. We got rotten boards at the bottoms, cracked boards, too close to the roof. We know it's wicking from the backside. Once it goes above the flashing, there's nothing you can do. It's going in. I mean, it is going in. You can see the boards are cracked. They're in bad shape all the way through. I'm gonna get to rip them all off. But right now, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. He's got family coming down. We don't want to be in the way of his family, so we got right over here as quick as we could so that we could finish this thing up before his family got here and we wouldn't have a bunch of work going on. Got my man Houston down here taking care of the cutting for me and the painting the edges and doing all the stuff right so that when it comes up here it's ready for me to rock and roll so it doesn't take a long time for me to do my job. Caulk and seal. I want you to notice the first thing I do before I start siding. Nice fat caulk bead. I'm siding to rest in. Now after I put my siding on, I'll put a caulk bead on top of it. There's no way you got any holes at that point. 